In one of the previous tutorials, we've been doing AR placement and plane detection using the old input system from Unity. And this is fine as long as we are in editor or building to iOS using both input systems. But when building for Android, we start getting problems, either already on our computer while building or on device. That's why we should use the new input system, which is also pretty easy for any kind of app that we also want to build for Android. And in today's video, I want to give you a quick introduction on how we can change our AR place cube script from one of the last tutorials from the old to the new input system. So first of all, there are several methods to use the new input system. One is we could use the input action maps, which we already do have here in the project, which we, by the way, set up in the first episode of this tutorial series. And then we could create an action map, define actions and properties. However, this is not really necessary for our AR app as we will only use touch input for now. In our AR place cube script, let's create an on enable method and let's tap into the enhanced touch support, which is also imported using a using statement at the top and enable it. And we'll also immediately create an on disable method where we will do the same thing and simply disable the enhanced touch support. So next up, let's scroll down into our update method where we will do some further adjustments. First of all, let's create an if statement and say that if we are placing, we're gonna return. And then let's delete this if statement here and replace the syntax from the old with the new input system. First of all, we wanna create a bool that we will create press that we will set to false by default and a vector two, which is going to be the screen position. And let's actually set this one to be default. We also want to delete anything that's here with the input dot syntax. And now we want to tap into the touch screen, which is part of the new input system. And we're just going to say touch screen dot current does not equal null. So if we do actually have touch, then we want to create a new variable, which we will call primary. And here we're going to tap into the touch screen current and the primary touch. And so if we had our primary touch pressed, this frame, which would be the same as our get touch at position zero, uh, we want to set press to true and we want to save the screen position of the primary position and use the read value method for that. So then we can also delete this method here for now and this one too. And uh, the else statement we're going to turn into a else if statement. And we want to say if mouse.current does not equal null. So here we are handling kind of the desktop scenario here. And if the left mouse button, so mouse.current.left button was pressed this frame, then uh, we also want to, of course, save the position. And first of all, of course, set press to true and save the screen position from the uh, mouse current position read value. So this is exactly the same thing as we did before, just with the new input system. And then uh, finally, we want to say if pressed. So if we pressed on the screen, then uh, we want to set the is placing to true. Uh, and then of course, we want to call our method down here as we've already been doing with the old input system. And I made a little mistake up here. Let's delete the exclamation mark. Of course, we only want to return if we are currently placing. All right, and now if we go back to our Unity editor, start the scene and click, we can see that the placement is working. However, we are now using the new input system, which we can build to Android, no issues, and which will also make it easier in future to build for AR glasses and XR headsets.